It is somewhat unprecedented for a travel advisor to be that specific, down to a very specific area, uh, one neighborhood. Uh, but that is a testament to uh, the strength of the epidemiology that's been going on and how uh, well the CDC and other health authorities have been working at this. Uh, they're able to really narrow down, this is where the ongoing local transmission has occurred. It is difficult to know what happens next, whether this is going to expand uh, beyond that area or it's uh, going to be contained within that area. Recently it was determined that several people in the Miami area became infected with Zika virus despite not traveling overseas or having a sexual partner who had traveled to a, a Zika virus endemic area. And this really suggests locally acquired infection. Uh, the CDC and health authorities have been diligently looking at the epidemiology of this ongoing outbreak, uh, not only in Central America, South America, but also looking at what's going on in the United States. And the fact that they were able to really z zero in uh, where these infections have happened, actually down to a one mile square uh, area, uh, is a real testament to the amount of work that's been going into this. Uh, and it looks as though there was uh, transmission uh, from one person to another through a mosquito. What we want healthcare providers to keep in mind is that if they're seeing pregnant patients, that they ask them about travel at every visit. Uh, that doesn't mean that they have to do you know, testing for Zika virus, but asking about has that person traveled to a Zika virus endemic area uh, or have their sexual partners travel to an area where there's ongoing Zika virus transmission.